this video, I'll consider one numerical on node analysis. Using node voltage analysis, find current in each branch of the circuit. This is the given circuit. We need to find the current in each branches using node analysis. So this is the given circuit. So here we can observe that here we have one node and here we have one node. Let me assume voltage at this node is V1. Let voltage at this node is V2. Let me also assume that current in this branch is say I1. Current in, th in this branch is I2. Let current in this branch is I3. Let current in this branch is I4. And let current in this branch is I5. So we need to solve this using node analysis. So in node analysis, we need to apply Kirchhoff's current law to the each non-reference node. So here V1 and V2 are known as non-reference node. And we will assume this as a reference node whose voltage is 0. And we need to calculate V1 and V2 with respect to this node. This node is known as reference node. So now let me apply KCL to node V1. That is apply Kirchhoff's current law to node V1. So here we can observe that as per KCL, incoming current is equal to outgoing current. Here current I1 is moving towards V1. That is towards the node V1. I2 and I3 are leaving the node. So I can say I1 is equal to I2 plus I3. That is I1 is equal to I2 plus I3. So now we need to express all currents in terms of voltages. So this I1 is the current which is flowing from 10 volt towards V1. So we can express this I1 as this end is positive. So current is moving from 10 volt towards V1. We should take it as 10 that is potential difference between 10 and V1 divided by register that is 10 minus V1 divided by 2. Similarly I2, so I2 is the current which is moving from V1 towards reference node. Its voltage is 0. It means V1 minus 0 divided by 4. That is I can write it as V1 by 4 plus I3. Current I3 is moving from V1 towards V2. So source to destination that is V1 minus V2 divided by 5. Let me simplify this or I can write 10 by 2 minus V1 by 2 is equal to V1 by 4 plus V1 by, I can write V1 by 5 minus V2 by 5. Let me simplify this further or I can write 10 by 2 is 5 is equal to, I will take this V1 by 2 on right hand side. It will become V1 by 2 plus V1 by 2 plus V1 by 4. Then we have plus V1 by 5 minus V2 by 5. Or I can write 5 is equal to, I will take V1 common. I can write 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 5 minus V2 by 5. Let me simplify this. So this is 1 by 2. We have plus 1 by 4. That is 1 by 4. And we have plus 1 by 5. So it gives 0 0.95. That is 5 is equal to 0. 9 5 v1 minus 1 by 5 means 0 0.2 that is 0 0.2 v2 2 v2 let me call it as equation 1 so similarly now we have to apply kcl to node v2 that is now apply kirchhoff's current law to node v2 so here we can observe that current I3 is incoming, I4 and I5 are leaving the node. So I3 is equal to I4 plus I5. I3 is equal to I4 plus I5. So I3 can be written as 
so i3 is flowing from v1 towards v2 therefore source voltage minus destination voltage divided by resistor that is v1 minus v2 divided by pi is equal to i4 i4 is the current moving from v2 towards reference voltage that is v2 by 8 v2 by 8 plus i5 is v2 minus 20 divided by 10 that is v2 minus 20 divided by 10 that is this is source voltage is v2 destination voltage is 20 potential difference between these two divided by register that is v2 minus 20 divided by 10 let me simplify this that is v1 by 5 minus v2 by 5 is equal to v2 by 8 plus v2 by 10 minus 20 by 10 let me so further i can simplify this as i'll take this term on left hand side so 20 by 10 is 2 that is 2 is equal to i'll take these two terms on right hand side that is minus v1 by 5 plus v2 by 5 plus v2 by 8 plus v2 by 10 let me simplify this further so i'll continue here that is i can write 2 is equal to so this will be only one v1 term that is minus v1 by 5 plus i'll take v2 common it will be 1 by 5 plus 1 over 8 plus 1 over 10 let me simplify this that is 2 is equal to 1 over 5 means 0 0.2 that is minus 0 0.2 v1 plus let me simplify this so here we have 1 over 5 1 over 5 plus 1 over 8 plus 1 over 10 that is 1 over 10 so it gives 0 0.425 0 0.425 V2. Let me call it as equation 2. So to solve equation 1 and 2, keep calculator in equation mode, that is equation mode. So here we have two unknown variables, choose first option. So A, B, C. A is with respect to coefficient of V1. B is with respect to coefficient of V2. C is nothing but this value. So let me feed the values. That is 0 0.95 plus equal. Coefficient of V2 is minus 0 0.2. C is nothing but 5. Similarly, in second equation, coefficient of V1 is minus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.2 plus equal so v2 coefficient is 0 0.425 0 0.425 plus equal then this is 2 plus equal so here v1 value is 6.94 and v2 value is 7.97 therefore i can write v1 is equal to 6.94 94 volt and v2 is equal to 7.97 volt so now we found the node voltages v1 and v2 now with the help of node voltages we can easily find the branch currents so here i1 is equal to as we know 10 minus v1 by 2 that is now let me find the branch currents that is branch i1 is equal to 10 minus v1 divided by we have 2 that is 10 minus 6.94 divided by 2 so solving this it gives so we have 10 minus 6.94 divided by 2 so it gives 1.53 that is 1.53 by 3 amps similarly i2 is equal to we have i2 is v1 by 4 that is v1 by 4 that is 6.94 divided by 4 you can write 6.94 divided by 4 
so it gives 1.735 1.735 amps similarly let me calculate i3 i3 is v1 minus v2 by 5 that is i3 is equal to v1 minus v2 by 5 that is v1 is 6.94 minus 7.97 divided by 5 so solving this 6.94 minus 7.97 divided by 5 so it gives minus 0 0.206 minus 0 0.206 amps similarly let me calculate i4 so i4 will be equal to v2 by 8 that is v2 by 8 which is equal to 7.97 divided by 8 7.97 divided by 8 so it gives 0 0.996 0 0.996 amp so finally i5 will be equal to v2 minus 20 divided by 10 v2 minus 20 divided by 10 that is v2 is 7.97 minus 20 divided by 10 which is equal to 7.97 minus 20 divided by 10 so it gives minus 1.203 that is minus 1.203 amps so thus we have calculated all branch currents using node analysis thank you for watching